So here I am again. I want to talk to you about something. Um, shortcuts. You know, I'm going to tell you, I get annoyed. I love YouTube, but I get annoyed with all these get rich quick dudes popping up in my feed. What do I mean? Um, you just want to put on a video and all of a sudden some guy pops up how he made $30 billion in just a few hours sitting at home by building some website. I'm like so tired of these pop ups and they're all the same. And I don't even think they work. I mean, after a while, you wonder if these guys don't realize just how phony they sound. There's no get rich quick method out there. It doesn't happen. You might have some rare, very rare cases, but even in those cases, you find that um, like as fast as something like WhatsApp took off. But when you find out the backstory, you find that a lot of these guys had a lot of trials and errors before their idea took off. So let's say even if they came up with an idea that, you know, they launch it, then tomorrow it's a, it's a big success. You find out before that they've had other ideas that flop. But I'm just so annoyed when I go on YouTube and there's always some guy that pops up and says, um, yeah, I drove my Mercedes. I drove my Lamborghini and I parked it. And um, I want to tell you how I did it. I don't I quit my job. Um. I made a quick 30 million last week. I mean, come on, it sounds so superficial. You can tell that these guys really aren't making that kind of money because they don't talk like how wealthy people talk. Have you ever seen anything? You never heard the Bushes talk like that. The Bushes are oil people. That's an oil family. A very loop. They're, they're swimming in money. They have wealth, meaning that their great grandchildren never have to lift a finger. They're, even their great grandchildren. This is something that's passed on. Um, the Rockefellers, you never see any of these people that are really, even Donald Trump doesn't talk like that. As bold as he is, as arrogant as he is, and as self-centered as he is, um, or as cocky as he is, you never hear Donald Trump say, uh, learn how I made a quick hundred million and I just did this with a 50 billion. And, and these guys get on there and talk that way and they don't, I don't, I don't know. You'd have to be desperate or really gullible to even watch one of their videos. I never even click on their shit. I don't. I'm like, why don't the moment it says skip, I hit skip. There is no get rich quick method out there. You have it's all trial and error. It's a lot of it is discipline. A lot of it is luck. A lot of it is timing. A lot of it is just doing research and sometimes a combination of those things. But these guys where they walk out and the moment the video starts, they're telling you all the money they make as if that's going to get your attention. Now, would that work if they went out to a nightclub and tried to talk to a woman? Most likely it will not. And most of you guys out there know that, that whenever you lead with your money to try to track the woman, she shoots you down. She's not interested. She's heard it all before. And first of all, you come off as a phony. She's like, oh, here this guy go again, another guy that's really rich and just trying to sell us. Or you get played. And it's no different. It's no different when these guys do these ads where they try to tell you how much money they have. It's fake. And you know that they don't have it. Or if they do have it, it's because people were gullible enough to buy their product. And that's how they got rich off of lying to you. Right. So um, and you hear um, Grant. Um, how can I forget his name? Grant Cordon. Hope I'm saying his name right. If I'm saying it wrong, I do apologize. He deserves that respect for me to say his name right. But he talked about these guys, too, and tell you not to listen to these guys. These guys are a bunch of fly by night guys. They really don't have it like that. They just want to be YouTube sensations or Internet sensations. And but they don't really have that that they don't really have. They don't really they don't really they're not financially as endowed as they're trying to make you think that they are. Anyone knows in order to make to go from rags to riches or from working class to doing whatever it is you want to do with your free time. It takes hard work. A lot of it. And once again, timing, luck, a lot of things go into it, but there's no overnight um, successes and those ones that are overnight you find out that they burn out fast or you find out that they've had history before that where they've had trial and error like KFC the colonel who came up with KFC was 65 when he when he took off with KFC but he's had other inventions before that other ideas before that that have all flopped but he finally got it right with K with the recipe for KFC so this is gonna be a short video I'm going to tell you, for those people out there that are really trying to become financially independent, you have to focus on one thing at a time. The problem is um, we all have so many ideas, like especially now because we live in an era where people get, can be famous for doing absolutely jack you know what. They just have to have personality. They don't have to be an actor. They don't have to be a singer. They don't have to be a songwriter. They don't have to be a producer. They don't have to engineer anything. They don't have to produce anything. It's just be a personality that people like. 
and all voila. And then they decide they want to try acting and singing and they do all these things. But the, the thing is, right now we live in a time where people just want to be successful and they don't even know what they're good at. They just see the Kardashians or anyone on TV and they want to do that too. But I say anyone out there, don't be deceived by that. If you know what it is that you want to do and you know that you want to be successful at it, you have to stick to your guns. You have to stick to your game plan. You have to have a plan. That means every day you should have something, at least one thing that you did. I, I wouldn't even say that. I say at least three things you did that day to get you further to your goal. Because if you're the type to go to work, come home tired and put it off till tomorrow, you can forget it. You're going to be doing that for the rest of your life. You really have to be the type to have a game plan. Write these things down. Write down all your... You, write, you have one goal. But write down everything you need to do to get to that goal. And then once you know it, once you start following all those steps and you start checking them off before you know it, you've done it. Every year I start the year off like that. I write down five things I intend to accomplish that year. We are now in October. I have... Two things, I've accomplished three things this year that I wrote. And these are big things that I wrote down I wanted to accomplish. Uh, and one of them was buy another rental property. Um, and, um, another one was um, uh, get a, 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 a two-bedroom apartment to rent. Um, I'm not even going to tell you say what all my goals were. But I'll say I wrote down five things. And I got three of them done this year. The year isn't over with. Um, and I had a game plan for every one of them. So I'm going to tell you once again, have a game plan and stick to it. Now, if you want, you can like this video. Please like this video and follow me. Um, all my info is right in this video, the body of this video of where you can follow me. And you can leave your comments if you want a consultation. Once again, um, this is what I do. Um, I do, I, I do business coaching for colleges. I do lecture. I teach statistics, um, uh, taxation, I mean, how to do your own taxes, a number of things business related that I get paid to do. So, uh, once again, that's it. Signing off.